Mr. Tini23 here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the brand new Regen Faces Renamer tool. Basically, what it does is it renames the Regen Face images so that they work inside the game. So, without further ado, let's get into it. So for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm just going to use the Mad Scientist 8687 database. I've just done a sim save and here we are at the 10th of April 2024 and it's now time to add the regen faces. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go over to the Patreon page. So here we are at my Patreon page, so patreon.com slash mrtu23. From here, you want to scroll down until you reach regen faces version 6. You want to click show more and then scroll down to the go file link link to this will be in the description and this is available to anyone so even if you're not currently subscribed you should still be able to get access to this so we're going to click on the go file link on the go file page you're going to have a couple of options you can either download each thing individually or you can use regen faceback version 6.raw which is everything so for the purposes of this, I'm just going to download that. And you want to download that to your Football Manager 2024 folder. Obviously, this is working on the basis that you're using the renamed folder method. So as you can see, I've already downloaded it just to make it a bit quicker for myself. Once that is downloaded, we're going to head over to our Football Manager 2024 folder. And we should now see that there's a region faceback version 6 WinRAW file in there. What we're going to do on that is right click, hover over WinRAW, and click Extract here. And then it might take a bit of time just because of the amount of files in there. But as you can see here, it is creating a folder called Region Facebook version 6. So I'll be back once that's finished uh, extracting. Once that is finished extracting, it's going to create a Region Facebook version 6 folder. You just want to open that up, and here you'll see that there are four different folders. And if we move that across, we can see that they correspond to the individual uh, files that you can download as well. What we're going to do with these folders, though, is just quickly copy them, go back to Football Manager 2024, and paste them in. So once that's finished pasting, it's going to edit the four folders you can see highlighted here. So in Views, it should add a Region Faces version 6. In filters, it should have region faces version 6. In your graphics folder, there should be a region faces folder. And it's going to add a Mr. TD23 installers folder. Now that they're all in place, we need to go back onto our football manager. So here we are back on football manager. Now we need to click on scouting, hover over players, and click players in range. First thing we're going to do is we're going to change the filter. So we're going to click on New Search. We're going to go down to the cog at the bottom left. Click on Manage Filters. And then find Import. And then you should see a Region Faces version 6. If you can't see Region Faces version 6, you just need to click there and check that it corresponds to the folder that the filters were in. We're going to double click on that filter. And click load. I've only got two just because I've already done this. So click OK. Click back onto the cock. Find region faces version 6 again. And then click no. Now what that should do, that should import the filter. Before we do anything though, we just need to go down to this little drop down here that says exclude. And make sure that this is unticked. Otherwise it won't add the players from your club. So as I'm managing Everton, I need to make sure it's on tick so it has the Everton players in it. So we're going to do that and then click OK. And that's the filter all set up. With the filter all set up, you just need to make sure to untick this box here, which is interested in. What that'll do is that makes sure the game loads all the new gens and regens. From there, we want to go up here where it says Overview. And we want to import the view. So to do that, we hover over Custom and click Import View. Again, should say Region Faces version 6. If it doesn't, just double check this bit here. But, so click Load on there. 
should come up saying the view hasn't been imported successfully and it should look a little bit like this. What we want to do next is we want to highlight everything and this is again very important. So just click on one and click control A. Sometimes this doesn't work, which luckily for this example it didn't. All you want to do is click back and then forward again. Go back in, try it again. And usually does it second time around. Once they're all highlighted, you need to print screen this. So you can either click control P or you can go up to the FM button up here, click on print screen and make sure that it's set to the middle one, which is web page and click OK. And then you just want to rename this to whatever is suitable for yourself. So what I'm going to do is because I've already done it, I'm going to rename it 8687 regents. So we just click save on there. And that will save the input file that you need. Now that that's done, we need to go back to our Football Manager 2024 folder. So if we just quickly load that, there we go. We need to navigate to the folder called Mr. Teeny 23 Installers. So we'll just open that. And the one that you want on this is Mr. Teeny 23 Region Faces Renamer. So we double click and it should bring up this handy tool here. Nice and simple. So the first thing you want to do is you want to populate these three boxes. So for the top one, we're going to click on Browse and you're going to find the input file that we just generated. So we know that we saved it in the Football Manager 2024 folder. So we'll go over to there. We'll scroll down and there we'll find the HTML folder that we just print screened. And it's simply just click that and it should populate the box. Next, we're going to do the image directory. This is where all the region face images are found. This will be the same every time. So go to Browse, Football Manager 2024, click on Graphics, and then it's the region faces. And you just want to click Select Folder at the bottom. There we go. And last but uh, by no means least is the configuration XML folder uh, file even. Uh, this is very, very important that you select the correct one. It has to be this file. So we're going to go on Browse. You need to make sure that you're in Graphics, Region Faces, wait for it to load, and it will eventually show a config file. It has to be this file. I cannot stress this enough, this file. So we're going to double click that, and it'll populate all the free boxes there. Next, just click, the, click these two buttons. So the first one, Rename Images. So you'll see the progress down here. And you can see that it's renamed 527 images. That means there were 527 86, 87 first year regions that we needed to add a face to. So we'll click OK. Then we'll click Generate Config. So as you can see, it says Config XML updated with 527 new records. For the first season, you should expect this number to be the same as the renamed images. However, from season two, three, four, however many seasons you're in, this number will change just because it will be adding the regions from season one and season two together in the config file, if that makes sense. So we'll click on OK and then close that. And just so I can show you what that's actually done, if we go back to Football Manager 2024, head over to our graphics folder, the region faces folder, Scroll all the way down, you'll see that there are a number of images that have been changed to a number. This is the player's unique ID number. And then if we open the config file, you'll see that they've now all been mapped to a configuration file. You shouldn't have to edit this at all, it should add them all in. With that done, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back over to Football Manager 2024. So we'll close that. What you want is just change the view to whatever view that we used before. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it to the work the space player search view just because it shows these here. So as you can see, I did a test on Roy Keane earlier just to make sure it was working. Uh, but what you want to do here is you want to go to the FM up here, click on preferences, and you want to do reload skin. If you can't reload skin, Make sure to go to Interface, 
go down to skin, make sure use caching to decrease page loading times is unticked, and tick reload skin when confirming changes in preferences. Then that should let you do the reload skin option. So just click reload skin. It'll take you a moment just whilst it reloads the skin. And what it should do, it should add faces to all of these. And there you go, you can see. So obviously you can see the top on there wasn't a region. That was actually a new gen. But for the likes of Enrico Chiesa, he's a new, he's a regen. All these regens. Plus you'll also notice that anyone who has done this previously, there was an issue with some players in 86, 87 getting the faces not loading. Uh, so that has been fixed for this version. So Santiago Canizares, for example, will now have a face. So that's the regen faces complete. So for each season that you get regens coming in, you just need to repeat that process essentially. So when I reach the 10th of April, 2025, I will do that again. Don't worry about if it adds regens that already have a face and uh, how it works is the config just adds them both in so nothing to worry about it just won't rename the images again and there you have it a guide on how to use the new region faces installer to get all your region faces in the retro databases if you do have any which don't appear with their face do let me know because it might be the case where the image just needs a quick rename and i'll get onto it for you but thanks for watching. If you have enjoyed this video and it has helped, please do leave a like and subscribe. I will be coming out with more content in the future, especially some editing tutorials because a lot of people have asked. But for now, thank you for watching.